In today's game, it comes to no surprise to any of you, I'm sure, that officer sourcing is deplorable in this game. We just had an arc where we had a release of a new PvP meta with Mirror Picard, Mirror Data, and we will see if we get any more. But it is pretty typical for Scopely to release uh, a new meta for PvP officers that quickly gets eroded. However, there are some officers in this game that seem to stand the test of time. And today we're going to talk about one of them that you should be pursuing as hard as you can because even though it may take you years to max this officer, there's so many uses in this game, we need something we need to talk about. So let's get into it. Why? Because the players matter. All right, well, I hope you all are doing well today. Hopefully you all have survived this arc uh, this last month pretty well. Um, I made a recent accomplishment and we talked about this in, um, you know, in one of my live streams on Twitch recently. I wanted to share it with you all as well. But one of my, uh, <laughs> one of the favorite, my favorite officers in the game, let me pull this up real quick. And it will come to no surprise to many of you, but that is five of 11. Uh, tears up at 20%, I believe, per level. Finally got mine maxed um, through this last Borg event, and that took a lot of doing. But uh, fantastic officer, really fantastic officer. Um, used in many scenarios from hostile grinding to, um, to armadas, you know, a lot of various different options that you can crew with 5 of 11. I currently have uh, this set up, and this is kind of a max loot crew that, uh, that I use. And, and I have to be honest with you, and I'd love to hear from you all in the comments below if you have a, a, the same or differing opinion, but <clears throat> I actually try to have um, for the different loops we do in the game. Some of the recent ones, for example, may be the Silent Hostels, might be Gorn, what have you, but I try to have some variation of this hostel crew so that I can, because there's so much to do and so much, so stinking much to do in the game that, you know, I kind of just want to be able to knock this out, um, whatever loop I'm working on. And so invariably, the goal is to use a loot crew. Um, and this is one crew that you can use in various situations. I do use, because my ships are strong enough now, be able to work towards this. Um, but I do use this crew when I hit my silent hostels. Um, I do use this crew when I hit my Goran Hostels. Um, so it's a fantastic crew that can really get things done quickly. I even use this crew when I'm doing a Mirror, mirror Universe run to try and max how much I'm getting from the Hostels as well as, um, you know, from the loot boxes. So a couple of different variations. Um, one variation that we might change here if we were looking for speed is we might throw Curon on here. And my Curon is not max, it's still officer in the works. So it may depend where your Curon is off, but you lose the 40% synergy when you lose data and you lose the isolytic damage. But Curon, after destroying a ship, he's gonna increase your impulse speed by a certain percentage depending upon the level of your Curon. <clears throat> my Curon is 420 more shards to max Curon, so that's, that's helpful. But if you're trying to go for speed but still have some loot bonus there, then this is a good crew that you can have. When you are hitting or summoning with the Voyager, and I'm mainly talking above deck, obviously there's officers like the EMH Doctor that you can put below deck to help with, um, with your loot drop, so that is worth noting. Um, but when you're summoning with the Voyager, here's a good crew to have that I use frequently. So Neelix and you're gonna, is going to increase efficiency based upon your tier of Neelix um, for your summonings. You'll also want to have Trip Tucker if you have him below deck. He's gonna increase the resources dropped by the Herogen in Species 8472. But then obviously you have five of 11. So you're getting a certain percentage from Picard for, for him as his, as his captain's ability for loot drops. But you're also getting um, five of 11, whatever tier yours is. Um, obviously, here's a standard crew that you can use. Um, 
five six on has been a popular one um you get not only the loot bonus and mitigation from five of eleven but you also get piercing based upon the level of your six of eleven which can help you get more damage to the whole of certain armadas so I have actually run this crew in a bigger deep space armada to get as much loot as I can. If you have some big guns with you, you can go back to the uh, the Eper card, E data, five of eleven. If you have someone that's going to carry you, especially if let's say you have a bigger um, player on you know in your alliance that is helping you beat a larger armada, where you're still getting the loot. A box well you know they're going to carry you so you know you're going to blow up if you're sending a voyager for example to a deeper space armada well <clears throat> you can switch to a max loot crew here and trying to increase as much loot as you're going to get because you know what we know is that it's basically it's allocated based upon power so they're going to get most of the loot anyways but try and get as much as you can um so that is always an option um so something to consider there but let's talk for a minute about sourcing. And this is where in the video, I kind of rant a little bit. So there's various, and, and once again, if you have other, uh, I just mentioned some off the top of my head of places where you can use five of 11, such a fantastic officer. But now, you know, if you have any comments where you use five of 11 that I haven't mentioned uh, for the sake of the time in the video, then, then feel free to drop those below. I'd love to hear from you all where you are using five of 11. But uh, let's talk about sourcing. Okay, the main ways I know that you can source 511 are these. Um, if you go to your recruit tab, there are two locations. Oh, crap. Look. I don't think I'm gonna edit that out. I'm just doing a video scopely and your whole system crashes. Great. We'll, we'll clear that out, everyone. Okay, now that I've reset my game, let's go back into officers and hope it doesn't crash again. Stupid scopely. <laughs> okay, so there are some places here um, in the mission key recruit here. So you can grab these once per day. You can grab one from the um, from the scopely's website, their web store, and you have a chance to recruit 511 from there. You also have the ultra recruits. The problem with the ultra recruits is your chances of getting 511 are kind of really slim um, from here. So that is kind of deplorable. Um, good thing is that there's a lot of sourcing. We won't go into this video about this, but there's a lot of sourcing for these recruit tokens. They didn't used to be so plentiful. So that does help but you still could easily burn thousands and thousands of these and not get very many five of 11 shards. Um, the premium recruit also has five of 11 in there. So you can source five of 11 through that part. Um, the, the other main sourcing that I have noticed is, and I can't pull this up here, but at 40 plus you get, um, unlock to you the option for the Borg solos, this epic solo exchange, and you'll have some chances for both uh, 511 and Hugh, both awesome officers. Uh, so that is another sourcing for you. And then they have been doing, it looks like probably monthly, the Borg event. The one downfall of the Borg event is it costs like 6,000 of the currency from that Borg event to get one shard of <laughs> 511. So my rant today is this, is that there has to be for both five of 11 and for other officer sourcing in the game, hopefully you've got to go back in and you've got to evaluate because because I think I think it's been said before that Scopely looks at a full unlock of the of the officer. I think they look at it at a value of like four hundred dollars. And so it is pretty difficult to kind of twist their arm and say, hey, give us free officer shards. But I wish that they really would plan it out, make officers like 511 that are actually valuable long term. And they, unlike the PvP officers that they, that they keep releasing, don't make officers that are only good for like, you know, a few months and then they're irrelevant. 
Um, 511 is a great example of an officer that's come out, came out years ago, but still has tremendous value in the game that people use frequently um, from various things. Like I said, hustle grinding, armadas, you name it. There's a lot of different options and things you can use 511 for in the game that really can help you out. Um, now, my, my other point in this video is that if you have the option Keep it on your radar and do those Bork Solo Armadas. I know some people still that aren't doing those. Um, and, and for the new players who are coming up through the ranks and through the ops, when you get to the point that you can actually do the Bork Solos and, and um, unlock uh, Hugh and 511, don't miss that opportunity. That's a missed opportunity if you ask me. Um, fantastic officer in the game that really can help you with your loot. Um, I finally have gotten to the point with my ships and because I was able to max 511 to be able to max my mirror universe runs if I have time for that additional 20 minutes a day, which is a whole nother rant video of how much they keep adding to the game, believe me. But hopefully this video helps. Hopefully it highlights just the value of the different some crew options there. And hopefully, you know, you were already aware of this, but maybe there's some places that you can pass along this information to those in your alliance. Um, kind of celebration for me. I've been working on unlocking 511 for many years now, um, but to be able to reap the rewards and to be able to max this officer is huge that can really impact various aspects of your game. Anyways, thank you so much for joining. Um, hope to see you next time. Remember, keep learning, keep growing, keep having fun, and don't let Scopely tell you how to play this game. Peace. Have a good one.